and welcome to our Poland game. We are I'm gonna start over um, because reasons and things and the, apparently the previous recording was pretty much fucked. But the results are in. You guys voted. Um, I don't want to say overwhelmingly, but a majority of you voted for the. Um, let's see, can I get that back? Nope, that's something to do different. And me pick up that damn straw poll. There we go. That's the results. The results is 46% for Royalist, 21% for Democratic, 19 for Nationalist, and 15 for Syndicalist. So, Royalist with 22 votes wins. Uh, video is only up a bit for a short time, so it's not really surprising that the amount of votes is on the low end, but maybe that is more inherent to a problem that is existing elsewhere. Anyway, um, let's just get ourselves off the ground and get this show on the road and a couple of military factories yeah we're gonna be tiny and i'm not really don't know how we're gonna do this but the the great debate it has started we're gonna do it we're gonna sit it out we're gonna not change our government in the meantime yeah we have a uh we've, we've basically what it says here we've been spawned after the war and then some shit went wrong, and we never really got our kingdom together, which was meant to be done. We never got a king on the throne, because we kept extending the date. So, during this event that's happening currently, the Great Debate, we get several chances to basically split off and become a different Poland. Becoming a, a communist Poland, a fascist Poland. A lot of types of Poland are available, but we're gonna stick with... This focus tree, this has got to be our Poland. It's got to be the smallest of focus trees. And then we need to, to figure out what type of king we're going to do. And I don't know that yet. So we're going to try to figure that out. And god damn it. That hurts. So I'm wearing a brace, a wrist support brace. I've got some hair stuck in between. And that's not really fun. So we got some Black Monday shenanigans happening. And I need to keep an eye on some things to prevent basically any shenanigans really going on. Considering that we don't really have anything but manpower, let's just produce a couple of guns. And it's going to be bitching about, hey, the kingdom has failed. No, we're going to send additional man to the countryside. So that's one of the first events that would lead to, you know, a... Uh, yeah, to, to some problems. We're already... Shifting some stuff around. And, uh, the monarchy got restored in France. Is this... Uh, Lithuania is a puppet of... So... I... Uh, I don't really know yet... Which direction we're specifically gonna go. Um, I, I kind of want to do my own thing. Because I think that's more interesting than just... You know... Uh, height is everything. I don't really give a crap. Um... But uh, if we want to restore the Commonwealth, apparently we have to be a Lithuanian king. So I guess I'm going to try to do that because that's one of the few questions that actually get asked in the comments. Am I going to do that or if I want to do that, I have to go for Lithuania. So let's try to do the Commonwealth thing. So a Lithuanian king, it is. Um, so I need to keep an eye on that when the events hit. And I am i don't know if there's anything in between here that really matters to do um, along that line, but uh, we're gonna see what is going on. I think you're a perfect defensive general. And I think the Commonwealth might also have the largest manpower base that we can uh, that we can get uh, get some support from. So, because uh, the Commonwealth historically contained, like Lithuania here, like parts of white, white Russia, white Lithuania, parts of Ukraine. So, you know, we can, uh, we, can we might have, we might even, you know, go to war in Germany. Proper Polish revenge, I guess. Uh, but for now, first things first, we need to get the great debate on. We gotta try to get a a, a, a larger workspace is critical. It is. It is critical, definitely. Um, I could start training a little bit to get the ten manpower that we need to uh, remove the artillery. Probably not a bad idea to do that. I might have had some weird research set up. 
just realized that I might have got a bit of an odd one going, but uh, oh well, it doesn't really matter. I might have just clicked through it a little bit faster. I've been playing a lot of the um, what's TNO, the New Order mod. It's amazing, but uh, that's still one fairly early in development, uh, even though as amazing as it is. Um, also, it's a bit of a pain to look at. Uh, I would like I get I get the aesthetic. It's pretty cool, um, but for long periods of time, I don't know if I would like I like it as much. If you know what I mean. That's basically my uh, bit of it. Besides, it's cool. There are a lot of events, a lot of very unique mechanics, which I completely agree with. Um, really cool. Uh, it fixes also some of my I want to say primary issues with with the game. But I, there, there are, in my opinion, some weird things uh, with how the game balances things. And I genuinely like how that got fixed here. For example, aircraft. Aircraft are cheap in Hearts of Iron. I like they're really, really cheap. Um, and in that mod, aircraft are a lot more expensive. They take a lot longer to build. So you no longer have 50,000 fighters in the air, which is insane. If you realize that the Battle of Britain... Uh, that's more aircraft than just were involved in the entire Battle of Britain. Uh, I think Britain itself barely could muster. I don't know how many aircraft. I know. I mean, before I'm going to talk completely out of my ass, let me, sh me let me make let me sure I'm correct here. Battle for no, off Britain. Not big horn. Jesus Christ, Britain. There we go. And I don't want the movie. I want the historical event. Um. 2,000 British aircraft and about 2,500 German aircraft. This is one of the largest air offensives that we've seen. And that's it. Well, you know, American bombing, all that kind of stuff, it's, it's impressive. But this is a big thing for aerial warfare. And there were 5,000 aircraft, not even 5,000 aircraft, involved in total. In Hearts of Iron, we are seeing numbers. Like, probably if I go to the Intel ledger here, it's like, hey, uh, I don't know. Okay, this is a fairly normal number, but this is going to explode soon. I guess. That's kind of what I'm talking about. This, there, there aren't that many... There were not that many aircraft. There were not that many tanks. Um, especially for Germans. Like, the German army, uh, that was not a motorized army. That's, that's a very odd thing when you think about it because you know we're all kind of believe that it was German technological superiority well they had some pretty good shit uh, they had very little of it like the Americans and the um, the British they had mechanized armies uh, no the Regency Council must elect a new king now um, Germans army had had used more horses during the Second World War than it did during the first. It's insane. Lithuania and the Commonwealth. All right, so I think this is the event that, that is the important bit for us. I'm gonna just save real fast. Yoink. Um, Lithuania gets event Paul shunned us. Agree to the proposal. I think this is the one that we want to do. Um, and then we need Mendong to restore the Commonwealth. Then we get a Lithuanian king. There we go. Bam! The Regency is finally over. Time. Poland. Alright, live long, live the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. There we go. Alright, we have a little bit more of an army now. Um, got a couple of uh, new dudes. Not a lot, but a couple of them. They are... Uh, okay, we got also a lot of new shit in here, which I don't like. Uh, oh, hey! You actually managed to get a template that I like a little bit more. So, yeah. Let's pick that one up. And look at that! We have ourselves a proper focus tree. Very nice. Very nice. And, uh... Well, let's start with the Reichsback question. I like the idea of these shifting focus trees. TNO does this as well, oh the new order. And it just uh, it creates a very interesting, um, well, event, dynamic thing. It's, uh, you don't really know what is there all, at all times. Um, let's import a little bit of stuff. 
because I do like to have my aircraft being built. And let's take a look at the new territory we've gained. So we got one there, one there, another one there, and well, we have a naval access point, so let's just do that. And then this is all gonna be about military. And let's start working on our economy. There we go. All right, Paul is just waiting. Commonwealth is a thing. Join the society. I think, did we become a... We did become we automatically become part of the Reichspakt, which is actually... Yeah, we cannot do internal war. So I think if we want to expand... Oh, we would... You're a puppet of the Austrian Empire, which doesn't really exist. And I've got Germany on my ass side. What's so... Lost? Expanding down here would be. I want to expand from our own. Join Middle Europa? Or not? So, this is, I think, the Reichspact. So, now that we've chosen to be allowed to German Empire, the opportunity has risen to join their economic pact. Yeah, I think we. Why should we give up our sovereignty? You know what? Let's play this. Let's play hard. Let's play hardball. Uh. PP becomes the new thing. No, 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 no. We want to stick with... Because PP is democracy. No, 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 no. German Dutch? Okay. Alright, so... Now we can choose a new Prime Minister. There is a couple of choices here. So, Yuazos, the Lithuanian historian. Oh, the PP becomes ruling party. We don't want that. And so, we can have the aristocrats or the conservatives. So, Stanislav Nurovich. Uh, Stanislav. That's this guy. Eh. Or Janus Radzwil. Uh, Adolf. No. <laughs> Janus, Janus, Janus. He's an aristocrat. It's kind of more, I think, on our line. So, where are you? Uh, Stanislav, Jesus, Adolf, Stanislav. Anyone looking for the Janus? Has anybody seen Janus? Uh, I might not be here. Um, I think I'll pick up this guy then. Uh, yeah. That looks uh, okay-ish. Uh, I expect question. We've outgrown this decaying alliance. Alright, there we go. We're independent. Uh, our head of our government. You get just a very large amount of manpower. So, the school of maneuver, the school of fire sport, or the school of defense. So we're looking at our minister of war. Hmm. Hmm. Also, I think it's time to get to partial mobilization. Yoink. I think I always like maneuver. I always like maneuver, but I don't think it's as important. Let's go for school of fire sport. So we got some free military staff. We got a uh, artillery attack and artillery defense. That's pretty good. And less supply consumption. That's also pretty good. So I think we are in a pretty okay state of mind. So we get to choose between Warsaw or Vilnius is the capital. And we have gone the commonplace alone. Cool. I think I'm gonna go for this right now. And we're gonna go for the greater, greater commonwealth, I think. Ukrainian referendum and the Galician purchase. Strike at the Russians or strike towards Galicia. So this is... Ooh, that's pretty good. And this is defensive core territory, but we... I think we gotta go for the reverse Polish partitions. Um, might be a little bit difficult for now on. We want... Apparently a land lease is going towards us. Probably gotta get cancelled uh, immediately because uh, we're no longer in the alliance. Uh... Uh, I am at war though with the, with the Dutch and the Belgians. Uh, Indonesia declared independence. Good for you. Um, stop training. I don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see. Militia divisions. Don't like those. I don't need these guys. 
Um, it's a garrison template, so let's switch that out. So occupy territories, garrison. Go to the horses. I'm gonna keep this one though. I'm gonna not gonna delete it, but uh, we're gonna just uh, uh, let's see. Get this the. There we go, and this is gonna be our attack squads. Got two types of armor division, which is better. Both are kind of crap, to be honest. All right, so I need. Let's start with some extra dudes. Let's need three plus six is seven. Seven guys. There we go. Let's start with that. And I think probably have still in a pretty large equipment deficit. Yeah. Great news. I didn't do anything. I have 10 points. Uh, so I could liberate to Papua New Guinea. Or I could spend a little bit to get some resources. Okay. I actually managed to take a little bit. And this is good territory. <laughs> uh, can I get this one? No. Pass. Ah, damn it. Could have got some aluminium out of it. But that should give me access to some rubber as well as some oil. So we have our little Polish, uh, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth um, colonial empire, if you might say. I think that's uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, I took up Germany, East Asia, took over everything except for this little uh, little bit because that's ours. Um, and yeah, interesting bits. Uh, interesting where we are going now with this. But you know, I'm looking forward to see where we're gonna end up. Oh, they cancel the land leases. What a surprise! Yeah, and I'm gonna try this for war. I think it's more interesting. It's gonna probably be a little bit more difficult, but uh, uh, language problem. Uh, no, oh, we'll be Polish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Try to against the Lithuanian nation. He doesn't matter anymore. Get some diplomatic offers, which gives us some... Daily political power cost goes down. Alright. So we need, we need to gain some party popularity, which is a little bit more difficult uh, in this mod than it is in, in regular uh, Hoi. Uh, considering that we don't pull a lot of resources out of the ground, free trade is more beneficial for us, so let's go to free trade. And I do not have any things that I can do. Yeah, so this is what I want to do. And yeah, both of them are actually things I want to do. I want to solidify control first, because that kind of boosts our party popularity. I think that's going to be important. We need to get a better grip on um, on our country. <laughs> Most of the guns that we need might actually be used for yeah, for new divisions. That's not that bad. Right, we're going to concentrate industry. I'm gonna stick with a very simple setup for now. It's just gonna be guns and a little bit of aircraft because I think it's 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 a good thing to do. Um, so let's get some close air support up and running. We'll start with 50, like a small air force. Um, it might be a little bit of a token air force, but I think it uh, it's better than not having any. In my experience having aerial control uh, is actually amazing. I am readjusting my strategy slightly. I've kind of uh, went in uh, a lot. I've never, okay, so I've never really been into the Air Force thing because I could never automate it, so I never really properly learned how to use it. But as you can automate it, it's a lot easier to, to forget about it as well. So, um, but I'm, I'm a little, I've become a little bit more aware. Uh, yep, here's for 20 more years. Signing the Pacto Convecta. Alright, some diplomatic offers that we've made. And this is great. But we're okay, so we're gonna start with this one. Actually, we don't need this for now. Polish leadership integrated with two armies of Lithuanian tactics. Now, we're gonna look at that later for now. 
Let's do it. A new capital. Um, let me just see what this goes. Because this will lead to Lithuanian leadership. Does not have total listen to blah, blah. Rebuilding Palace of the Grand Dukes. Gets us a civilian factory. And this will get us deficient training time and division recovery rate. What? Okay. This just gives us a bonus. Huh. So this would be better. If you just look at the pure fact that this gives us a permanent recovery rate bonus, that is a improvement. Because this is the same. Um... This is better compared to that. So this one, the Phillies' capital, is just a solid improvement. Uh, and this is, is fairly similar. So we got a new capital, get less political power. Uh, new capital was first selected before it can be improved. Okay. And so I would say Vilnius is the capital is the way we're gonna go. In the makeup of the Commonwealth. So we favored Poland before. There's the the language. Is that something I actually need to balance? I don't know. It doesn't really say. Let's see. Cultural tensions. Both Polish and Lithuanian face its political void, unheard in favor of the other side. Both peoples are mistrust of each other, and general feelings of easy. Okay, we'll do a we'll do a different attempt here and I like I said we need to strengthen the government so let's work on that missing equipment reproduction support equipment for who oh probably the horses yeah um, can't do that because I don't have enough all right uh, yeah let me just uh, keep uh, outputting guns constructing things and you know take it a little bit easier so, Polish language, Lithuanian capital. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll be uh, the centralizing power, because uh, we'll have an absolute monarchy. It's, really? Like, oh, actually, this is not a democracy thing. Okay, for a second I thought universal suffrage. Okay. Don't. Well, yeah, this is okay ish. Yeah. PC will become the ruling party. Uh, PC is already the ruling party, but that also boosts our uh, popularity by a lot. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. So we're gonna go for centralizing power and expansion, political radio. Okay. 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 Um. Weekly stability, yeah, let's try to stabilize the country a little bit. You know, we'll do our best. And, uh, yeah, because we need to start making uh, preparations for war with Hungary, which is going to be interesting. Um, I don't know if we can. It's not going to be easy. Um, let's get the base leadership. Like, stability is just good to have because it increases factory output. Uh, everything basically. I don't know what our political power cost really is. It's Lithuanian leadership. So, overwhelmed bureaucracy. That's still something we. So, the cultural tensions is something that we have to address at some point. Now, for the army, I'm probably going to be integrating the two armies. I don't know. This is. I also have to choose between the two. That's really interesting. Yeah, Lithuanian fleet definitely. Because, you know, they have been underwater for a lot longer than we have. Oh. I know look at that midfield marshal. We'll look at the infrastructure a little bit later. First things first, I'm gonna go for this. I'll, I'll finish this tree here. And we're gonna look at the army. And I might let. Uh, so, division attack. Trans. Division 3%, Division Defense. Okay, I definitely prefer this one. And... Definitely prefer this one. Division Speed and Planning Speed, because... Entrenchment Speed, eh. Defensive Core Territory is okay, but we're going to be on the offensive more than on the defense, hopefully. So we're going to go for a mobile army, and that might lead to... Yeah, I thought that would be the case, so... 
Right, this is one of the following. Okay, so we cannot get this to you. So this, this will... Eh. That's okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's... don't care, don't care. Don't really care, don't care. Don't care, and... Uh, let's... don't care, don't care. Yes. Uh, yes. Alright, so there's two yeses in here and a lot of... Nih -huh. So, yeah, we're definitely gonna go for that one. Uh, right, let's get a construction up and running. If we got a fleet. We got two destroyers. The luxury that we have is out of this world. We have no dockyards. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, war against Austria is going to be pretty difficult considering the large amounts of everything that they have. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Um, let's get the free building, I guess. Um, and Well, yeah, we have the interwar bombers. I don't really give a crap about the bombers, to be honest. Um, but all things considered, I actually need to invest a little bit also in our air force on the research side of things. We've got our radio. Um, since I've well, let's get production efficiency. We'll do some more crap with that later. Alright. Okay, things are getting trained. Good, so I only need one group of these, and then we'll train another group afterwards. First, I think... What I want to do... Is shrink these to a... 10 width, I think. Yeah, this means I need to do a little, little bit of training with them. Just, just train. Oh, well, I hit the wrong key. Okay. Raising the model in Fortress. Uh, yeah. Two free ports. It's a... Uh, Sabera declared war on Bulgaria. Well, what a surprise. The Austria-Hungarian Empire has not got a shit under control. Who would have thought? Yeah, this is just a really good guy. And then we'll centralize the power, absolute monarchy. Uh, new constitution will guarantee the minorities. Got a common currency. This is just a good trade to fix this problem. Yes. All right. So our capital is based in Vilnius, or Vilnius, or whatever you want to call it. But we speak Polish, like a good trade-off, right? Like, the government speaks Polish, but we are housed in a city that doesn't speak it. <laughs> Second American Civil War. Enjoy, lads. We built the Palace of the Dukes. And let's get some raining going. Uh, we'll shrink our defensive uh, army group a little bit further. We need to get two more out. I just, I'm just gonna quickly redesign the way this this thing looks. Um, this should, yeah, remove another one. So we just need to remove those two, and then we have the full group. Um, Yes, and I want them small, because they're just there to dig in. Um, we do at some point want to start thinking about... Let's just put this at 10. I don't know how many f factories I've got planned. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that works for me. And then we'll create a little bit of support equipment afterwards. There we go. Uh, okay, so that's all being done. Uh, let's take a little bit of a look at the Air Force and get some proper... I don't can pronounce that. I don't speak a word Polish and I... While I like a lot of languages, I think Polish might be one of the few languages that I never in my life will learn anything of other than Cuba. Alright, got some democracies in the Philippines. Congratulations. Yep, second to Nationale. What a surprise.
Train, bastards. Train. Anyway, with that, I'm actually going to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you hopefully the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.